Now let's have a look at the preferences here in Cinema 4D. You could access preferences by either clicking edit and preferences or the shortcut key that is control or command E. Now we have got a wide variety of option, options and preferences but we are going to go only through some of the main ones. Uh, the first one is interface. In interface you have got the language option and my default is English. Since I installed Cinema 4D in English language only, it will not give me any other language options. You could download other languages by going to the official magazine Cinema 4D website. Also we have got this scheme that is the color scheme. You have got dark and light. I will show you what happens when you click on light. This is what happens. Now since I work for long hours on Cinema 4D, I am going to make this back to dark since I don't want to waste specs or anything else. Also you have got the GUI font that is your graphical user interface. You have got help, windows, script, plugins and all the other stuff written over here. All these things have a particular font. This font uh, is specified by going to preferences and GUI font. My default is uh, Sejoi UI so I'll let it be like that only since I'm comfortable with it. Next let's have a look at the input devices. Now you've got something called as a graphics tablet. If you use a graphics tablet you, you shall almost every time you must check the, uh, check the graphics tablet since if you don't check it and you're using graphics tablet you get some really awkward kind of motion in your workspace now since I'm not using any graphics tablet I'm going to leave it unchecked next is your OpenGL if you click on show OpenGL capabilities it will show you the capabilities of your video card, graphic card or whatever you want to call it so you see these are the capabilities of my video card let's close it for now Next is your files. You have got this auto save option. You can click on uh, save button and then you know intervals of every how many minutes you want to save you can specify it over here and the number of copies maximum number of copy, copy that is the limit. You could even uncheck the limit. So this is your maximum limit. You know it's very annoying you're working for over an hour and then suddenly light goes and you lose all your work. So in those kind of cases you must always check auto save but since I am very keen on saving my work on uh, in particular intervals myself I am going to uncheck auto save. Next you have got this texture parts. So I will explain you what texture part does. Suppose you drop in a cube and you get a particular color. Now if I render it it will show me no error and it will say that the cube is being shown perfectly fine and you can also see that the cube is being shown perfectly fine it's completely no problem but if you add some kind of special texture that is not available by default in cinema 4d like you get it from uh, you get it from external sources and then you add those texture and then you know you delete those texture not in cinema 4d but you delete them externally you can always you know while rendering it will show an error that texture not found so in those kind of cases you go to your preferences setting file and you can specify your texture path and and one last thing anything that you change in preferences is globally changed for example if I change my uh, font I, I like kind of make it something like something like let's select a good one the splash and shows me language font and system changes will take effect the next time you restart the application so I click on OK I close it. Now I'll restart and show you what uh, how does the font changes. Now you have a look at these font. I close it and then I again start it. So you see all my font has changed. So this is what I mean by the change is global. That means after your restarting of the application also the changes will be there there will be no effect on the changes of your uh, preferences let's get, let's get back our original uh, font see, now you see we have got our original font back So this is all about preferences. Thank you for watching this video and please do watch the next tutorial. Do like and subscribe this channel if you want the updates about the upcoming tutorials. Thank you.